Welcome back to Oxlatl Army. Today I will be setting up my new 40 gallon breeder for you all. The difference between a normal 40 gallon and a breeder is just the fact that the breeder is slightly longer in length, therefore ideal for oxalotls. So I've had my oxalotl Gilly Nelson tubbed underneath this tank for quite some time in quarantine, so here I'm adding some of his dirty water to get the filters cycled faster. Next I'm adding in fresh dechlorinated water, and I'd just like to point out that it's extremely important to find a stand for your tank that fits it completely. All four corners of the tank should be touching the stand, and nowhere should it be hanging off. Just a fair warning, you should probably turn up your volume for maximum cuteness level. So after taking a break with my niece, I'm going to continue to fill up my tank, and yes, this does take quite a while. This next part is optional, but I highly recommend it, especially for oxalotls, because they like a depressed current. I'm using a piece of filter foam and attaching it with simple bobby pins just to hang it on the filter so that it kind of depresses the current in my tank while still managing some water flow. Next is time to set up your filter, and the ones that I buy are by Marine Land, and this is a size C for tanks of 30 gallons and above and it comes with the blue filter already and some extra pieces you can put on the stem that hangs into the tank, but I don't typically use them. And then here's your bio wheel and you'll just wanna take off the little piece of paper that's wrapped around it. And this is what's super important inside of your filter. It holds all the good bacteria that will go inside of your tank. And just a little tip, if it ever seems to stop spinning or get stuck, simply rinse it off in fresh dechlorinated water because that just means that there's too much bacteria on it. And here I'm just taking out my blue filter media. And what you want to do is rinse it off in either fresh dechlorinated water or even better yet, some of your oxalotl's dirty water to get the bacteria started in your filter. And here I'm just adding some rocks. This is my sort of substrate, if you will, inside of my tanks. I prefer the bare bottom because it's cleaner, but I still want to give my oxalotl something to grip on. And here is a nice giant cave that will fit my oxalotl once he is full grown. Now I'm just moving it all around to make sure I get all of the air bubbles out of it. And this next plant I'm putting in is something that was homemade by myself, which you can watch in a previous video that I've uploaded. So the key to knowing when to stop rinsing your filter media is when the water runs clear, because at first it'll be a darkish color. I also designed the blue filter media so that there's no way you can put it in upside down. Then you simply just cover up your filter and you want to make sure that you do not turn it on until you fill it with water. This could actually break your filter if you run it dry. Your filter will turn on as soon as you plug it in, so be ready. a little 10 gallon sponge filter that was in the tub with Gilly Nelson and in the future I will be upgrading to a 20 gallon sponge filter. So here I just 
just wanted to kind of show that your tank will be messy from putting in the dirty tank water and that is what you want to start cycling the tank. And then from here on out you'll be doing daily water changes with fresh dechlorinated water and also dirty water from your tub. And you want to do this until your parameters are tested perfectly with a liquid test kit, usually about two weeks. questions, comments, or concerns, you can either comment below or DM me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.